Hey, this is Alexa Peterson with the Hitting Vaults. I'm going to be doing a swing analysis on Hunter Bishop from Arizona State. He's doing really well. Um, he's hit 17 home runs so far and um, and then also is hitting 394. So a huge improvement from last year. He was in the 200s and hit only five home runs. Um, so really doing really well right now. Let's take a look at um, some of the good things in his swing. Starting stance, he starts a little bit taller right here, and that's fine. Um, what you're going to see with that is that he has to get into his legs a little bit more. So you're going to see more head movement kind of down and forward. Um, so this maybe isn't a starting stance like that tall. It might not be something that's very good for younger kids just because body control um, is kind of difficult for younger kids to be able to have and get into a good launch position is so important. So if we look at him, so he goes and loads, you see his head kind of goes down a little bit, um, similar to Christian Yellick. Um, kind of goes down into, um, kind of loads into his back hip there, but it's well before the pitch is released. Um, we don't want a lot of head movement going down um, as the pitch is on its way. So you can kind of see that it's before the pitch is released. He's getting into his legs, um, and he, he has that internal hip rotation right here, front shoulder starting to work down and in. He starts going forward, getting to a great launch position right here. So you can see... He's got torso tilt. He's leaned over almost. His eyes are like over his toes. Um, he's not straight up and down, which a lot of hitters that start straight up and down, like how he does a little bit more vertical in his starting stance, will get to their launch position and not create that tilt. So make sure that you're, if you're a hitter that starts a little bit taller, make sure you're into your legs and you have that good torso tilt um, when that front heel hits um, in that launch position. So you can start to see his hips kind of externally rotating here. It's kind of almost uncoiling, but his hands are still back. His front shoulder is still down and in in this launch position. You can see he has some bend in his front knee, and we're going to look at um, from the side angle as well. This is a great launch position. Um, kind of going through one more time. Showing his number to the pitcher. Hands are still back. And you see his hips rotating towards the pitcher, rotating well with his barrel, still working behind the ball. Um, versus his knob going straight to it. So a lot of hitters from their launch position, well, you'll see this bat just kind of slide in straight, kind of going down the steep angle. If you watch, his barrel actually comes down as he's rotating his hips and his core, creating the most amount of bat, bat speed that he can. So we can kind of see a different angle here um, of the, a little bit further out from um, the same swing here, and then this was a different um, different home run, home run. So what's good about this side by side, this was on a recap um, video, but these are actually slightly out of sync. So if you look over to this one on the right, it's a little bit ahead. You can tell based off of when his heel hits. So I'm going to scoot ahead a little bit further. Um, I'm just going to show you what the difference between a launch position and then like in the middle part of your swing where you're actually turning your barrel looks like. So a lot of people think that this is what launch position is. And we want when that heel hits, we want that back shoulder to be down and the front shoulder to be up. And we're kind of swinging, just totally just swinging up. Um, that's not the case at all. Launch position is actually when that heel hits. So we see right over here that heel hits right there. And we see that front shoulder down and in, that knob to the catcher. Um, hands haven't... <clears throat> really started going towards the ball yet, um, but that, that front hip starting to open up. Um, and so this position right here is actually after launch position. Um, so you start to see that back shoulder dropping, front shoulder working up, um, hips are still turning hard. Um, but what we want to have is this be our position and launch position um, uh, with that front shoulder down and in, and this is after launch position. But these, these two videos are just slightly out of sync. You can kind of see that his heel hits over here first. So right there, that is his launch position on this swing. And then launch position over here is right there when that heel hits. So notice how he's turning his core and his, and his hips are rotating and that's really what's taking the barrel to the ball. It's not that he's throwing his hands at it or pulling his hands through. Um, which is actually going to limit your amount of bat speed that you have because your lower half and your core um, has so much more power and, and, and just there's so much more potential and energy that's created when you stretch out um, that launch position, which we're going to look at in just a second from a side view here. 
So this is a little bit after his starting stance, kind of he's loaded. And he's starting to go forward now into his launch position. Launch position is right there when that heel hits. <clears throat> so we see that knob down towards the catcher. You'll see some hitters a little bit more vertical, a little bit flatter. But in general, that knob needs to be somewhere down towards the catcher. See his front shoulder down, um, his back shoulder up, and it's kind of working down and in. You can see right here there's a, some wrinkling in his jersey, and that's because we're seeing his hips op open and rotate while his hands, his upper half is staying back. This lower half is starting to go. So you can kind of see him. He's staying back, upper half. Bottom half is starting to turn right there. You see that movement. And so that's why we want our hips to turn first, and then our barrel comes through the zone. See, he has some bend in his front knee, a little bit longer back leg. Distance between his feet is about 50% of his height. You'll see some variances with that, but that's something that um, works for him is probably the average of most hitters is about 50% um, of however tall they are. His front foot is open a little bit. His front knee is open with his hip open. So yeah, overall, that's a really great launch position. That I, I feel is really helping him stretch this out to be able to maximize, maximize his amount of bat speed and his power that he can have. Because this is starting to go, this is staying back, and then it comes through because of his core. Um, it's kind of unwinding. So you see his belt buckle facing the pitcher before contact. His bat is somewhere in this range right about now. His back foot becomes weightless. If we're to put a line back here. His heel actually goes forward, becomes weightless, and he comes up on that toe and it moves in a little bit. And then after the swing, if you're still looking right here, after the swing, he'll then have that heel cross over that imaginary line right there. You can see his front knee rotating out. This one's rotating this way, and that's what's kind of turning, helping him turn his core and his, um, his hips. As he gets closer to contact, you see that front knee starting to firm up. And here's just another view. Zoom in a little bit here. Seeing his hips turning and then the barrel working behind. So that back shoulder has to drop, but that, that back shoulder has to drop after a launch position. So overall, he's doing phenomenal, has a great swing. I'm um, excited to see where he goes in the draft. Um, so we'll have to keep a good eye on him.